Do you actually need a filament dry box with active heating and is the Creality Space Pie filament dryer the solution for you? Let's find out. Hello my friends, welcome back to the Crossing channel where we talk about all things 3D printing. Man, the summer is almost over in Germany. I've been enjoying this so much, but yeah, it's almost over, two days to go. But the good thing is hobby time, workshop time, basement time is coming back. I've been using my Creality K1C and the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon for printing all kinds of materials. But recently I started using nylon filament and carbon fiber reinforced nylon and pretty soon realized that just storing the filament in the AMS or a dry box with desiccant pearls keeps it dry for a certain period and then it pretty soon starts soaking up the humidity from the room once the pearls start getting saturated. Especially having the filament on the external spool holder of any printer, the nylon gets from 15% to 35% relative humidity just overnight in this room, which has something about 55% humidity on average. So this is certainly not working without a dry box solution. If you remember, we previously built our own dry box on the channel and also upgraded the Bamboo Lab AMS with desiccant pearl containers. Both are passive solutions, however. I also have this Print Dry Pro filament dryer, but it's really bulky and that's when I was nicely surprised when Creality sent me this brand new Space Pie filament dryer, which we're gonna try out today. This comes with a power cable, so the power supply is integrated into the box and a reasonable long PTV tube, so we can hook it up easily with the K1C and of course other 3D printers. It's actually quite compact, just large enough for one kilogram spools. So this will fit nicely besides the K1C and any other 3D printer. How does it work? First off, we have to load the filament and at least pull the end out here at the top. We can then later push it into the PTFE tube and push it further into the printer tool head. And finally, secure the PTFE here in this rubber gasket. How to set up the temperatures? First, we have to turn on power at the back and then we might also have to turn it on at the front via the touch display. However, one thing about this display immediately bothered me. It's the fact that if I press on the touch buttons with a little more force, the screen gets unreadable for some time. This tells me it's an LCD screen, not a TFT touch screen, and it seems to be quite cheap, honestly. The other thing I realized when, for example, setting a temperature, if you press and want to set a specific value, you need to press very short, otherwise it might just skip to the next setting or the next number. So on the one hand, it takes more than you would usually press on your smartphone, but then also you might press too hard. So there's a very tight window of the right amount of pressure to use here. That might lead to some user interface mishaps and I think it could have been done much better. So what we have to do here to dry the nylon, for example, is to set this to PA, which has a preset temperature, which is fine. And then we press this button and get the timer setting done. We want to dry for 10 hours straight to really get everything regarding moisture squeezed out. And I would say after a couple hours, we could already start printing as the outer filament windings are probably dried a little bit faster. Now, this is how it works with the active heating, but how does it look like if the filament is dry and we just keep it in the box? That's the bad news. This whole box is actually not sealed. The lid is just plastic touching plastic. So over time, probably a day or maybe two, you might actually end up with the same moisture as if you had it outside of the box. So this is really just working as a solution to dry the filament and keep it dry while it's actively heating. Otherwise, it's not really a place to keep the filament. What I do with all the humidity sensitive materials when I'm not using them, regardless whether they happen in this box or my other dry box or the AMS, is to put them into these sealable vacuum bags and then I have an electronic pump to get the air out easily. And that's my storage solution for most of my filament. However, I managed to puncture some of the bags or maybe the quality wasn't that great. So I have to replace them from time to time. So should you buy the Creality Space Pie filament dryer? I'd say it depends. For the active drying part, it's good, but it's not a storage solution. There is other, however, more expensive dry boxes on the market that also keep the filament dry for a long term. But if you have a lot of filament like me, there is no other affordable way than using these vacuum bags for storage, honestly. I put links to this version of the dry box 
other dry boxes that might also be worth it and also the bigger two spool version as well as the vacuum bags that I'm using in the description of the video if you're interested. I hope this was helpful. If you got value from this video, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. We also do weekly live streams with the community of this channel, which I really enjoy. So maybe you wanna join next time and get a chance to win awesome giveaways like this dry box. So see you next time. Bye bye.